YouTube, what is up guys? Today I got another Balasan upfront unboxing interview. This is one made by the company The One. You might know them for making a lot of Chinese clones and stuff. Well, this is their first original design. I'm actually quite impressed with it. So let's go take a look. All right, so here is how it comes packaged. It comes with this little crappy screwdriver, uh, as well as a full set of hardware, including the bushings, the pivots, the washers, everything. Comes in this nice little bag here. All right. And here it is. So it's actually channel aluminum, then with um, some G G10 scales on top of that. Kind of kind of nice. It actually has a nice feel to it. A little light. I'll put the uh, specs on the screen. It feels like it's a little under four ounces, I'd say. Um, but whatever it is, I'll put it on the screen. The blade is kind of like the same on both sides. I guess there's a slight different there. I guess that was would be the side you pretend would be the bite handle, the bite live blade side. Um, but this one, it looks very much like mirrored. It's almost like exactly the same on both. Kind of hard to tell which one's supposed to be the bite, which one's supposed to be the safe handle. Uh, here is it next to a Max Ace She for a size reference. So pretty, pretty nice size to it. For being made by the one, uh, it feels like it has extremely good tolerance. This feels much better than most of their, they're kind of known for doing clones. As you can see, there's no tap on either side here. Yeah. Uh, that feels really, really nice. I believe these are T8s or are these T10? I don't know, hard to tell. Is either T8 or T10? I think it's T10 actually. Um, but yeah, it came with the screwdriver. I bet you everything is probably not Loctited. So I'm going to put some Teflon tape on them off camera so we can get straight into flipping it and really try this out. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to get this all set up so we can flip it without the screws flying everywhere. And uh, we'll be right back. But I do like how there's only four screws all together. So that's going to be real quick. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, we got the one uh, original design here. Ready to rock and ready to roll. Now... This thing is crazy light, so if you like light valleys, you'll probably, you know, right away, you know, kind of dig it a little bit. Um, me personally, it's actually a little light for my liking. Um, it's super neutral, so even like aerials um, are a little, not harder, but a little more unpredictable. Uh, fans too, it's like so light that it almost like, like you can, you can still, you can still do your fanny tricks, but I don't know, it's like you got to put more into it or like, Really, really give it a hard uh, twist of your fingers just because how freaking light the thing is. But if you're somebody that you're used to really light valleys, then you'll probably will like it. Um, it could just be I'm not used to it yet. I've only been playing with it here for a couple minutes. Um, but I do notice like behind the eight balls and stuff, while you can still do them, the real blockiness of the handles as well as the not so much weight in the back make them a little harder. Um, but that being said, I, I really do like this a lot. I think um, for the price, it's really, actually really good quality. Um, yeah, the only downside for me is that I'm just not the biggest fan of Super Light Valleys. But even just the more I'm playing with it right here, the more I'm starting to get used to it. Yeah, and these aerials are getting more predictable now. Definitely takes a minute to get used to, but the fact that this is so cheap uh, and there's you know, the tolerances are so good. It's already starting to come slightly loose. There's still no tap. Yeah, yeah. Mine's, um, one of my screws, I can tell, is vibrating out a little bit. I didn't Loctite it. I just put a little Teflon on there. So that one I must have um, not put enough Teflon on. But even though that screw's backing out a little bit, it's still not introducing any the tiny, yeah, only the tiny bit of tap. But that's just because this screw's a little loose. Um, my other biggest downside is that there's no, there's no real, like, obvious which side is the would be the blade i like i like on valleys they're even on trainers to always know like which side is supposed to be the blade because if you get really careless and then you're somebody like me that plays with a lot of live blades when you go back to your live blade you might be careless there and grab the wrong handle here and there um just out of habit and you're like wait why am i all of a sudden doing this and it's because you were playing with one like this and you weren't really caring on which handle uh is the other one there's actually two colors to this you can get of this. There's another green that looks really cool. So I think I'm going to get a green one too and two tone the handles. So that way it makes it more distinct which one would be which. And I'll just be like, okay, the green one's the bite handle or whatever. And just in my head, make a mental note. 
that would probably be, um, you know, my biggest, my biggest downside to this. Um, but yeah, once you, if you like light valleys, um, even if you don't, like I'm not really a light, a huge light valley fan. Well, when it comes to this light, um, after a minute of playing with it, I am getting super used to it. Um, and it is nice that it is so light. So like if you do hit yourself with it or whatever, whack your knuckles, it's not really going to hurt. Um, the Zen pins and everything are actually really nice. I'm not getting any pinching whatsoever. I really like the, the way they did the hidden Zen pins feel great. Um, yeah, everything about that feels really great. Um, I'm not really good at chaplains, but yeah, not definitely not the best for chaplains. Yeah. Yeah, not the best, but it definitely, it definitely can still do them. Um, but yeah, I think for the money, this is actually pretty decent. Um, it's really sharp here. Like these, none of this is sanded down. So even just like grabbing it like this, it almost feels like you could accidentally cut yourself on these edges. Um, so I might take some sandpaper or a sanding block to the inside of those. But other than that, it's really not bad. And right out of the box, it's a pretty decent flipper. So check it out. Uh, the link will be down below. Very cool. They came out with an original design instead of just stealing everybody else's. So the one, uh, I would like to see more things like this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.